Good day, good people. My name is Dr. Jamie Marich, and I am the founder and director of the Institute for Creative Mindfulness, one of North America's leading training programs in EMDR therapy. Before I go into some of our exciting changes for 2024, I'd like to recap a little bit about where we've been as a training organization. We trained our first group of EMDR therapists in 2015, and since then, thousands of students, primarily in North America and also globally, have traveled through our training programs. With the online learning renaissance that happened by necessity in 2020, we've now been able to expand our reach, offering the EMDRIA, or EMDR International Association Approved Curriculum, both in person and online. When I first set out to put together the Institute for Creative Mindfulness, my intention was to teach the standard protocol of EMDR therapy as developed by Dr. Francine Shapiro and as regulated for standards and quality by EMDRIA or the EMDR International Association. I also had the intention of bringing in the mindfulness focus that I naturally enhance whenever I study or teach EMDR therapy because we do recognize as a program the mindful indigenous roots of EMDR therapy, even though we give credit to Dr. Shapiro for the importance of her scientific discovery. In the early days of the Institute for Creative Mindfulness, I was joined by two of my dear friends, Amber Stiles Bodnar and Dr. Steve Danziger, as our primary trainers, and then eventually others decided to join me in offering what we feel is this unique curriculum that not only enhances the mindfulness focus, we are also known for really allowing our students to do deep work in our training programs. As somebody who is very out and proud about my own struggles with addiction recovery and mental health issues, stigma is something that we steer away from because stigma is really just another word for discrimination. So we offer as many accommodations as we can and really outreach to our students to let them know that you can come and train with us and we hope to make the experience as enriching as possible. Over the years, ICM has been joined by an amazing group of EMDRIA approved consultants and faculty members who have gone on to teach the ICM curriculum in their communities and eventually online. Honestly, ICM grew bigger than my wildest dreams and as a business owner and as somebody who strives to be as socially conscious as possible, I have really looked at how we can best continue to organize ourselves as a business in the way that best meets the needs of our students and our faculty members, our network faculty members who want to continue to share this unique style of EMDR therapy in their work. So here is the core announcement about how our business model is changing for 2024. Initially, in the early days of ICM, I allowed for our faculty members to have a lot of autonomy, especially in their geographic areas, about how they set up trainings. Then once we went online, we tried to standardize a little bit more, yet found that that also got cumbersome to maintain as a business. So for 2024, here is what we will be doing as the Institute for Creative Mindfulness. ICM, or the Institute for Creative Mindfulness, will only directly be running trainings that I am offering or that Lisa Hayes, the director of our EMDR therapy cohort for BIPOC clinicians, will be running. We are so proud of Lisa and the work that she has put into really advancing this unique cohort. Our first group, specifically for BIPOC clinicians to address the unique needs of BIPOC clinicians, premiered in 2021, and since then, Lisa and her dream team of facilitators have trained over 440 therapists in EMDR therapy who identify as Black, Indigenous, or persons of color. ICM wants to continue to support the good work of this program, which is why Lisa has signed on to continue to direct the program. So any trainings that you see specifically for sign up through the Institute for Creative Mindfulness will either be 
of the BIPOC cohort or trainings that I am specifically teaching, which is now the deluxe model. And the deluxe model of EMDR training is an eight day program split out over three segments, three days, three days, and two days. And in this deluxe model, we do weave in the cost and the hours of clinical consultation. To complete an EMDRIA required program in EMDR therapy, you need to do 20 hours of lecture, 20 hours of practicum, 10 hours of consultation, and now there is also required reading and the completion of a learner assessment. In this deluxe model, students will be able to meet all of those requirements together, and there will be adequate time to practice the skills that they're learning in between the three segments of the training. For 2024, the rest of our network faculty members, including Amber, Steve, and so many others who have signed on with us over the years, these network faculty members will now be free to independently run and operate their own trainings through the auspices of their respective companies. They will still be licensing with ICM to offer our curriculum that was primarily authored by me, yet has also been enhanced by contributions over the years by our various network members, consultants, and of course, weaving in the feedback from our students. So by signing up with any one of our independent network faculty members, we still have all of them linked on the front page of the Institute for Creative Mindfulness with our community calendar, you will still be signing on to the ICM curriculum. However, each individual faculty member now has freedom to offer their own pricing based on the needs of their communities and geographic areas and they also will have the capacity to bring in their own teams for facilitation and consulting. We really hope that this path forward will allow the blend between continuing to hold some consistency in ICM curriculum and community, together with promoting more independence and business structures for our faculty members. And above all, we hope that this will serve you, the students, the most. A big caution though, as you select your training program, be advised that ICM now allows for the part one, part two, 10 hours of consultation and the, and the learner assessment to be spread out however the faculty member may choose. I already explained how I offer trainings in the new deluxe model, the eight days that is split into three segments offering everything. Lisa Hayes, for instance, in the BIPOC program is still offering the traditional part one, part two, three days and three days, and then students are uh, guided on how to book and pay for their 10 hours of supplementary consultation to meet the needs that best serve them. We've traditionally allowed our students within ICM to choose their consultants instead of just working with somebody who's been assigned to you. And even in the deluxe model, I really do my best to bring in a good variety of folks so that our students can have some choice of who they work with within the structure of the deluxe model. With any particular training cohort that you might be interested in, again, they're all on the front page of ICM, just make sure you click and read the terms and conditions of the training to see how it is spread up. Other Uh, faculty members may be also offering deluxe model at some point although right now most are sticking with the traditional part one part two and then leaving it to you to book your supplemental hours of consultation which would be required to finish the training program please also note that we have some specialty cohorts that have popped up throughout the evolution of ICM for example uh, we have an LGBT specific cohort that is offered at least once a year where People who identify as part of the community can train with others who are of like mind. So if you have any questions at all, any points of confusion about who you're booking with or the style of training that you're selecting in order to meet your MDRIA requirements, please reach out to us by emailing support at instituteforcreativemindfulness.com. And this year, 2024, is a year of transition for all of us. Here in the company, we are still figuring out some of these points of transition and adjustment. Uh, Amongst our network, we are guiding people through points of transition and adjustment. 
and we are here to also assist you, the students, on any questions that you might have if you are indeed drawn towards the ICM way of doing EMDR therapy.